Let's go back to Jeremiah Watkins. Look at this. This is what he posted. This is the saxophone man. Black Lives Matter. Thank you. I'm proud to say that. You're proud to say that. Yesterday, I went to the George Floyd protest. No one should be proud to say that. If you're saying that, times is tough. If you got to go around telling people Black Lives Matter, you must think the world is at death's door. Imagine having to say that to someone. I can't imagine that in my life, going up to say, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Imagine if I said some goofy ass shit like that. What does that even mean? And I, by the way, I'm against that idea. <laughs> I actually think, and people are going to think this, I don't think any life matters. I don't. It's replaceable. Have a kid the next day, have 10 kids, have 50 of them. I've said this from the beginning. I honestly don't think, I'm not going to murder anyone. I would never put anyone through pain. I think pain matters. But I don't think life matters. Uh, maybe I'm alone here thinking this. <laughs> But everyone is getting so serious. Oh, my God. Life, life. Oh, life. What's going to happen? You're going to watch some shows? Eat some food? Get over it. Life pussies. These people are obsessed with fucking life. I don't know what they think is going to happen. You know? Uh, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to float away on a cloud and get the biggest orgasm? You've had it all. <laughs> Anybody this age has experienced everything life has to give. This is it matter I'm proud to say that yesterday I went to the George Floyd protest in Los Angeles I hope not I hope that's I not true. a couple you black... went there are you crazy you're gonna get killed George Floyd's family by the way is out there they, they you know how many people George Floyd's uh, family is killed during this protest I heard a rumor I don't know if this is true that George Floyd family has been on top of these restaurants shooting people with bullets and then blaming it on the cops. I read this today on Stephen Crowder's website. <laughs> <It's with their laughs> parents. Look, at, look at this guy. They were taking in this beautiful, powerful, peaceful protest. And they had to take in the signs around them that said Black Lives Matter. And that made me sad that that's not an obvious thing. That we're having I'm to- I'm telling you the way, and listen, um, you know, you're not going to hear me say a bad word about a black person. I'm not stupid. I work for the blacks now. They're in charge. But I will say white people are terrified. I've never seen them be more afraid of blacks than they are now. They are begging basically for their lives to black people. And all the white people have to post a video. Black people, please. Please, they don't hate you. They don't even know you exist right now. They got more important shit going on. They're not going, oh, yeah, did Jeremiah Wonders can speak on the topic? What is his stance? He, he doesn't want us to die? Okay, you, you win this round, Jeremiah, but you better. They don't care. <laughs> you literally don't have to do this. And, and by the way, I haven't given my stance on any of this. I don't have a stance. You're never going to catch me. I love George Floyd. I love him like a brother. People don't know. I worked with George Floyd for 17 years at this restaurant. <laughs> you were a security guard? I was a security guard with him. And me and him hit it off. And then things started getting real. <laughs> All right, let's hear Jeremiah. Teach our kids this. How is it not? Of course. Of course that's Listen what it is. This. We can do these guys are acting, man. Listen, I know an actor when I see one. Logan Paul, this guy. This you is, should see those two. Oh my god. They are laying this on so thick. We're having to teach our kids this. How is it not? Of course. Of course that's what it is. We can do better. I know we can. And I just want to say, as a I would love for pe these people to list their demands. I mean, I, I, I still don't know what everybody wants. You want for nobody to ever be mean again? I don't know if that's going to happen. You know, the protesters need to come up with a list of demands. Yeah, why don't you just say what you want? And maybe the, pol the police station don't even know what you want. Uh, don't be racist. I believe they're probably going, okay, we won't. Next, what else do you want?
Uh, don't kill black people. Uh, we... I promise you that's not our plan. I, you gotta list your demands, Jeremiah. <laughs> this is, of course... This just doesn't make sense. Is this everyone's first time seeing somebody die? They really didn't care when they were out killing the elderly last week without their masks, right? I, I don't understand what's going on here. Maybe I'm just too old. What it is. We can do better. I know we can. And I just want to say, as a white person, I stand with the black community. Oh my I gosh. love you and I support you. Yeah, I'm sure they love you back. You look like fucking Jeffrey Dahmer to them. But now look at the replies. That I got to the see these replies. Finally, people are starting to pick up, huh? Let's see. Um, is this your SNL audition tape? Whoa! Nice vagina. It's so weird seeing you serious. So much virtue. Such a weird video. Wow. Okay. So much cringe. I really, I haven't seen anything I like this. I, have just had this I thought it was me versus the world yesterday, to be honest with you. Because nobody will say this stuff. Uh, let's see. Not the best character you've done. Ha ha yuck. Be more funny, the Homer Simpson mammy. Uh, let's see this. It really, really, I'm happy to, uh, but a lot of people love this too. A lot of people love this. Should we show people the Logan Paul thing before we get Seems like out it's of here? time. We don't have to do like the whole thing. Cause no, I but we got to show you what white people are doing. And listen, hey, like I said, I got no opinion. White people want to act like this? Let them do it. This isn't political. It's a case study this ain't of political. how everybody is acting. But we got to show you what they're doing. And Logan Paul is a hero now. It's so funny how people just eat this stuff up. Again, I was talking about on the other show. Forget the black stuff. Okay. But people just take you for face value if you say you're like kind. If I came on the show and I just go... I am. A, I stand for people, and people should not ever be murdered. And I love. Everyone's like, this guy is amazing. It's like, no shit. He's saying like the basic things that we should all. No one should have to say this. No one should have to come out and be like, I'm anti murder. What about you? And they're like, I'm blown away. If you're blown away, then you must be really bad normally. So I don't know what's going on. I mean, to me, this is the freakiest time in my life, to be honest with people. Um, I've always been weary of all people. Now, it's I don't even want to school them. I don't even want to tell them that they're wrong. This is me. And people, here's the meme. This is me with people. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just going to... And then, ah! I'm out of there. So my new thing is... Oh, I see. And then get away slowly and hide as far away from these people as possible. So I came up with a plan. Like a lot of people, when they see things they don't like, they get mad. They start. Here's my biggest advice to everyone. This is what I've learned. You are never. And I know even these people, these dreamers, these dreamers still go by this thing. Oh, yeah. Well, if you don't speak out, nothing's ever going to change. They always said. Don't speak. There is no more speaking out. Speaking out does not help. It does not change. When you hear something you disagree with, to, to this extent now, to this extent where people are so crazy, just go, okay, all right. You know, it really made me, when I saw all that's going on, I go, I don't, I don't have a thing to say. They're far beyond that. I'm just going to go pick a place to live that is very far from all of these crazy people. And I'm going to make sure there's only one driveway in. That way I could see him coming from a mile away. They hit the tripwire. I got 30 minutes to prepare. That's how far away I want to stay from all these people. So before you go on Facebook and write that terrible sentence where you're unfollowing your friend and oh no, this is how it is. Believe me, much wiser men have attempted all of these issues that you're, you know, uh, trying to attempt for the first time. Okay? Find some people that agree with you. Get the fuck out of town. Don't live anywhere near a city anymore. 
You've got COVID. You've got the rioters. The police will not be there to help you. Stay far, far away from the Earth's people. Get yourself some ammunition to be safe. Pack it up and live out your life to the best of your ability. The time for arguments have ended. The people have spoken. The people, to me, they're not for me. I'm on the opposite page of all the people. And that includes the people that are for the protest, the people that are against the protest, the people that are talking about the protest, the police, the government, not for me. It is okay to feel completely ostracized by everything that's going on. And you ask yourself, well, where do I fit in in this argument? Maybe you don't have to fit in. Maybe they're all wrong. So my plan is to observe the people that I think that are all wrong and figure out how best to not let them go near me and interrupt my how many years left. Now, that might be a depressing statement. Jules, are you depressed? Yes. No. <laughs> It might be a depressing statement, but it I'm might be the only thing the we have. I'm going. watching people get into deep with their mates but and their friends. You're forgetting that in one week from now, this is all going to be gone and everyone's going to forget about it. But the it. people are still so bizarre, aren't they? It, everything coming out of their mouth is so bizarre that I refuse to even put my two cents in their ring. It's so bizarre and so off what I would ever think that I just... Again, you got to go, okay, I'm going to just go to my car to get my chair up, and then you run. <laughs> I think that's the best thing that we could all do and be very, keep your head on a swivel because they're cuckoo, cuckoo. Don't even argue. Don't waste your time. I have to talk people down. You see these people I have to talk down from ledges. They go, Mike, I'm so frustrated. I'm so frustrated. I go, we can't. The minute we get frustrated, then the fun's over. You're wasting your life. The minute you're frustrated with what other people are doing and you can't change it, you can't change what other people think. They really believe all this stuff. And I'm not even telling you the stuff that I'm against. But go with your gut. If you feel that the people are acting bizarre, well, then treat them like aliens. Okay? For the time being. And I'll come up with a plan. Okay, I'll come up with a better plan while we're doing that. But I would say stay away. Stay away from everyone. Unless you want to go out to the protest. In which case you should be with everybody. And do all the cool stuff. All right, we were going to show you Logan. Oh, you got to see Logan. You got to see Logan. And guess who is really hurt and upset by this? You guessed it. Big Mike. Yeah. You met Big Dyke. You met Big Abby, his sister. Big Mike has never been more uh, thrown to the curb. It was so funny because Big Mike had this amazing speech about racism to give on Impulsive. And then Logan also wrote a speech. Their new thing is they sit down and write. Their new thing is, we're talking to a million people. We have such strong voices. Let's write. And what the Impulsive Brothers do is anytime they have to speak on a subject, what they do is they spend their entire morning going through all of the... This is what they say to their Jewish producer. Get me the top liked tweets. Get me the top liked Instagram posts about this George Floyd thing. And then they gather all the top liked statements and they rewrite it into their own speech. And then they deliver that speech in the most panderistic, panderosa way. And everyone... Because they hate, hate. And they never thought about nothing before. So they, oh my God, they're applauding Logan Paul and Big Mike. We got to show you this footage. You're going to fucking die. Now this seems like a sketch... This is not a sketch. It's Impulsive 189. Here we are, folks. America the is racist. Listen carefully to what I said. America is racist. Oh, shit. Oh, no, not today. 
He says it. Logan Paul. Let's let's just let's just start talking about something. Here it is. Fuck. <laughs> um, okay. Shit. I could do it. You're doing great. White boys is scared, aren't they? Really, white people are if they don't come out and say the craziest shit in the world, they feel as if black people are keeping tabs on what all the white influencers have to say. They're well, a little busy right now. Are. No, they're shining shoes. Oh my god. They don't give a fuck. They hate you no matter what. But every white person now is trying to take the award for who could plead with the black world the most. Please, black people, we love you. You should love black people without having to say it. If you have to say it, maybe you don't love black people. Maybe your only friend is King Batch. You know, Logan realized he don't have any black friends. He knows the YouTuber King Batch. And literally, you'll see King Batch is being used a lot by all the white YouTubers right now. Because they don't have any black friends to cut to. Do they? Not like me. You should see the black friends I have. All these little boozy badass. Who else is my black friend? Lil Peep? Lil Funk? Lil Carl? I got black friends. These people got to go to YouTuber's whitest fake black king batch who might be wearing blackface. Let's go to 10 minutes in. Mike is going to say a phrase that we never thought we'd see from the impulsion people. Wait till you hear this. 10 minutes in. Let's hear what Big Mike says. Ant the anti-fascist group as it exists in America right now is not out there causing problems. I'm uh -oh. not saying that. What I am saying is that there is white supremacists out there on the other side. There's proud boys. There are more proud boys. Look at this guy. Little peep is white. Oh, you get red bar. That guy gets red bar. Everybody treat him great. <laughs> Here's one. NCC613. Little peep is white. That guy's going to sit there. You're going to let that guy sit there and interpret your the red bar? day, or a couple hours ago, when you were talking about Stephen King, you were like, pet uh, graveyard. Pet and then a guy did no, like five they comments. Didn't. He went, pet cemetery, Mike. Come on. Oh. I even screenshotted it because it was Do so Do you see hilarious. what I'm dealing with here? He was like, dude, it's pet cemetery, LOL. And what then the the, <laughs> this is what troll, uh, these guys, not trolls. This is what these tards are doing now. They'll correct me on a goof and we'll go, oh, and then they'll go, we were trolling. You weren't trolling. So who's the guy who said the pets? We got to start calling Here, these people out. Read it. Let me see it. Got a I called it pet graveyard and they go, dude, it's pet cemetery. He, race car, Jimmy 88. Race car, Jimmy 88. Said, He's another pet guy. Cemetery, Michael, dot, dot, dot. And we're Jesus. not going to explain it. LMAO. The people Christ. who know, now you know who to stay away from. This is what's going on out there. And they don't even know That's that they're being talked. They don't even that. know that they're being talked about. Somebody says it's called autism. Blame the vaccines. They don't even know that they're autistic. It's not their fault. How exciting is that? <laughs> oh, poor race car Jimmy. Race car Jimmy, you're on the list. The other guy, you're on the list. You know... Imagine watching this show thinking those things are happening. I know. Do you, how do you even like this show? How do you even like this? Isn't this the worst show filled with inaccuracies and the dumbest guy ever? How can you even stand this? I'd be ripping out my beard. All right. You heard Mike say it. Proud Boys! Let's hear it again. He knows the Proud Boys. My old friends. thing is that there is white supremacists out there on the other side. There's Proud Boys. There are multiple groups of people who stand to further divide what a, what a, this country a, a, and to drive the dialogue a, a, of hate. My issue on Twitter and my issue for the past week has been that our president and other people like him on the other side. Sorry, we got some we got some sound. Jeez, uh -oh. that was crazy. What is it? What is is it? it coming through? Is a jet? Lear. Can someone check on it? Uh, maybe Eve? Eve okay. or... Hold on a second. I just took that drink. It was ultra spicy, man. That was nuts. I'm just watching oh, the me? way you play. Yes. Nothing out of the ordinary. 
Dude, you should have seen it. Mike couldn't even take a shot. These people think, like, do you think that uh, they watch the YouTube videos back and they they write stuff? It's like, you know, I would have edited that out. Right? I'm in a big battle with some of the most acoustic guitars out there. <sighs> save Red Bar, man. Somebody's got to save Red Bar. So... Big Mike and Logan, they're going to do what's called Grand Stand On. You got to hear this stuff. 10 minutes in, Mike said Proud Boy. Should we jump to 10, 1325, Julie, also? Uh, that's part you can skip. That's just them oh. talking about the Jake thing. Okay. If you want Tell that. me where to go. Um, well, it's up to you. There is a part where Mike gives a big long yeah. monologue. Let's and start Logan with Mike's monologue. Way, okay, that's at 22, so 25. So both of them, and this is so interesting, they're writing monologues writing aka cheating like i explained for those of you who uh want to know red bar completely unscripted did you know that i'm against writing i'm against reading i am also against arithmetic okay we're not fucking figs over here these guys write so they get an idea and they really have convinced themselves, especially Mike, the author now, their written word is powerful. And you're going to watch them deliver a speech. They actually think their speech is changing the world. It's so sad to see how everyone thinks they're changing the world. I think that's my problem with it. Let's talk about this because obviously I got some issues right with this event my issue is these people allowing this to consume them and believing that the things that they're parroting are enough to change the world just because they're saying them with this pseudo passion. I'm not buying it. I don't believe it. It seems so desperate and pathetic and guilty you hear this word white guilt? I've never seen white guilt on display like I see it now. And I understand they're terrified. No one wants to be looked at as the guy who's against the black man. And you're not. No one looks at you as that. And even if you didn't speak up, no one would look at you as that. But you know what the number one fear of the influencer is? To be labeled racist. It's their number one fear. Their whole job depends on this label. Don't label me. I can't. I must be the nicest, kindest, fairest guy. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Well, Big Mike is. He's got the best stances. Everyone's so worried. A real Jigaboo is not going to care. About your stance. Yes, he will. And that's why it's so troubling. We are now in a time where not only do you have to do this, if you want any sort of career in the world, but if you don't do it, you actually are fucked. It's, it's not out of guilt anymore. It's out of pure pressure. Now listen, I'm a loving man. I want to let you know that. I'm a very loving man. I love uh, the community. Love the Afro American community. I love the Mexicans. But I do not love all of this. It just rubs me the wrong way. And you know what? If you're shitting at home and it rubs you the wrong way, but you've been pressured into posting the black square, you've got nothing to worry about. You don't have something to worry about. Me! That's it! All of you have nothing to worry about. Nobody is going to storm you. Nobody is going to fire you. Nobody is going to cancel you. Chill the fuck out. They're not going to come kill you because you're uh, not robbing a 7-Eleven. They're not going to kill you. They're so scared. This might be the most racist moment that I have ever remembered. <laughs> Mike is like acting like he's black and he's the leader of the revolution in this episode. You have to see what these boys say. It, and this isn't just them. I mean, turn on your Instagram. Have you ever been talked to like this in your life? Have you ever seen anything like this? I mean, it's so sad to see that you just got to go, whoa, 
again, I can't tell you about that backup move, that slow backup and start the car move <laughs> enough because it really is your only, only hope. I've never seen, and and I've said this a lot, I always feel like I'm on the outside. I'm on the outside. I'm looking in. I've never felt more detached from this society than I do now. And I'm nice. What did I, I, did I do that, I say? I don't think so. I'm nice, and I'm fucking terrified of these people. The militant, panderistic nature of how, I gotta play you this. Now remember, this isn't them. This is everybody. This is John Legend. This is Cheryl Tweed. This is your favorite celebrity. This is how they speak to you now. This is how we're being talked to. We're going to go to 1325, right? Yep. 13. Oh, wait. No, are we skipping that one? Oh, yeah. Let's skip. We're going to go to 2225. 2225. You're going to see some startling stuff, but we're going to make fun of it. We're not going to be afraid of it. And we're going to do our thing. What did I say, Jules? 2225. 2225. We might actually be fully defeated. We might actually have to run. Let's find out. Violence that's happening is completely destroying the message of what was initially the Absol problem. Absolutely. And I have a I have a very short monologue to go along with that. Not a monologue, just a write-up. A um, write-up. Protest. A monologue, a write-up. These people, they sit around that Adderall. They take the Adderall. And when's the Adderall strongest? 10 a.m. If you're on the internet at 10 a.m., get away from that keypad. They're on Adderall. And guess what they're also having? Delicious Frappuccinos. <laughs> you mix an Americano with an Adderallo? Ooh, are you righteous that morning? A tear comes to the writer's eye on Adderall. These Adderalles. So they sit around and they write this stuff. And to them, it is the most meaningful lecture you could give. And that's what's happening. We're being lectured. I'm actually afraid of these people. I'm actually starting to become fearful of the people. And I'll show you why. Here it goes. It's huge. Devolving into riots. Horrible. Like everything that's been happening, I hate. But also... And I want to make sure this is said. I understand. I understand the anger of, of the black community. I understand. This is where he starts talking like a black guy, right? Yes. He does this the whole episode. He do Wait till you see this. He devolves into a full Matumbo. <laughs> he starts screaming as if he's black. No. I mean, I don't think that the protesters want no. some white guy. This is what I mean. The way them. white people are handling this is the most racist that I've ever seen them. And I am the first person to love George Floyd. I was friends with George Floyd before the killing. Yeah. But I kept it low key because I'm not a, you know, attention seeker. Listen to this. I've been this for decades. The marches have not worked. The sit-ins have not worked. The legislature le legislation has failed us. The police department has failed us. The government, the people, everyone has failed us. We know not what to do in this circumstance between, besides burn, riot, and c go crazy. I understand that. But this- I honestly think we could try a few other things first. You know? Just try it. See what happens. But I also don't believe in change. I am not one of these people who wants change or wants the world to be better. So what do you think of that? <laughs> this is the time right now for the black community to gather their voices and activate a smart and winning approach to the problem. Uh oh, that's anti-black. I, 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 I want to amend that. Go ahead. It's not just the black community. Oh. This is oh, everyone, and we're with you. Every we person. are, we are, we are with you. We are with you. We are marching. Yeah, I'm with you too. Hey, cops, stop killing black people. There we go. Did they hear me? It's the responsibility of everyone. So, please stop killing black people. I can't take another week of this. Don't kill them. 
Just uh, let them loose, please. Please, I beg of the cops to stop killing black people. This has been the worst week of our lives. <laughs> yeah, same. Please stop killing them just for the sake of all of this. Please let them. How about this? This is worse than any black crime that's ever been committed. So if you're one of these people that's out there and anti-black, just can we vow for the cops to just let black people do whatever they want forever? Just stop. Let them run red lights. Let them rob banks. It's way less than what we're going through now. <laughs> just let them murder. Let them do it all. I'm not being sarcastic. Just let them. There's not enough of them to cause it. This is more problematic than uh, what they've been doing. Let them write bad checks. Let them steal candy bars. Please, for the love of God, just ignore them. They're nothing but trouble. <laughs> Here we go. I mean, as far as this is concerned, they used to be nice and sweet. Remember that? But now, it's just a big fight. Please. Alongside you. O Obama had a very, very well-written and telling piece today that he, he shared on social. I'm embarrassed. That basically said, there are two parts of reform to the current police state in America, or the current state of police. This is not a quote, but this is what I, I took from it. One and, is the mobile. Again, this is everyone's new mission to be that, but it's like, but you're, you don't know any about any of this. Like, what do you know about this more than me? So these people are all just they like reading facts weekend. and it's like, everybody's got to come out and try to be like the best guy. Everyone's in this uh, race for who's the best, who could school everybody the most. I don't know who they're talking to. We're all in agreement here. I don't know who these speeches are for. That's my issue. Nation of protests to raise awareness, and the other is voting and legislative reform to create systemic change. I'm so scared. To those on the streets right now gearing up for round 12, the mobilization has occurred. The awareness has part. happened. Everyone fucking knows. Everyone gets it. The entire world has is standing in solidarity with you with their fists in the air saying enough Somebody asked is if they enough. have any black employees. No. No. This whole Logan Paul household is run by 100% white. You got to hire a black. Logan, why don't you have a black guy right off the streets just... Uh, you know, work around your house. He could have access to your accounts, your house. No? Why? Would that be a risk? You racist. Invite some black men over. Why don't you go down to the riots and pick three black men to come live in your house with all these girls and the money that you leave around? It should be fine. <laughs> what happened to George Floyd, what happened to Trayvon Martin, what happened all the way back to Rodney King is not okay. Let's work together to make a change. Your voice has been heard. Here it comes. But the National Guard is inbound. They are coming to your cities armed with I'm M16s, sick. body armor, <laughs> tanks, per armored no personnel tanks. Car carriers. And because of the current administration, as far as the discussion of airborne infantry, to the oh makeshift rioters and people on the streets right now and even the peaceful protesters, that battle of might is one you will not win. I can sit here sure as shit and say that to you today. The opportunity that exists right now is for you to join your voices and to create a strategic strategy to vote and- By the way, these Buzz Killingtons, they're gonna make a comment, like they make a comment during this episode where they're like, Usually this show is just about goofing around and horsing around, but today we got... No, no, no. Uh, for the last six months, you've been on this shit. Every show is a lecture. It, it started with your book. Every show is telling us how we should live based on your idea of what's right and what's wrong. This show isn't a fun, wild, jackass experience. They keep apologizing like, Usually this show is just us jerking around and we're wild and crazy. No, it's not. You had maybe three episodes like that. The rest have been telling us exactly how we need to act based on what? M. Radijakuski's line of thinking? You know, the people who are telling us uh, exactly what we need to do, like, who the fuck are you? Emily Radijakuski?
is telling me exactly how I need to live my life. What the fuck do you know about life, titty butt woman? What does Big Mike fucking know? Why should I be listening to these whites? These evil fucking white people. Some police state in America through local and state elections. Those are the people that choose your police chiefs that make your laws you hear for, when your, he gets for, all your, black, for the Coming police up, right? in this country. We're going to stand right next to you. Oh. We're going to stand right next to you. But from a, by the from way, a, black people, they're not that into that. Like all these whites are like, by the way, black people, we have your back. They're like, oh, cool. What are you going to do? I mean, he's like, acting like he's like, nobody's ever thought of this. I know, I and this is like the English. curse of the young person is to think that you've solved it when the 60-year-old guy couldn't come but up with Logan it. Logan is young enough for that excuse, but Mike isn't. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the reason we have all these problems is because they're kind of unsolvable. But young people, they wake up and their first instinct is, this is easy. This is a no-brainer. It's like if it was a no-brainer, we wouldn't be in this position. I doubt Big Mike and Logan Paul have the answers. From a mobilization standpoint and a protesting standpoint, we have reached the end here. I truly believe, in, and now moving forward, it, it, it is violence the, and people getting hurt. The only reason why I'm not fully going against you is because uh, we, we plan on going to multiple protests today. And yeah, because of the National Guard, I believe they were all shut down or either the people were deterred. They are taking violent You're action. Love this, they buddy. are they are bullying protesters. I have a picture here. I'm sure you guys have seen it. These are the rubber bullets Oof. that the National Guard are actively They're shooting rubber. at people. Some of our friends have gotten shot with these. The, these are responsible for people losing their eyes. Pe people are are getting very severely injured because of this shit. You're and, lucky and they haven't brought in uh, mobile electric chairs. I want all the cops wheeling in an electric chair and everyone's like, what are these? And then they sit people down and they go, we're just strapping you. All right, well, do we cut to something else? We got to get to where Mike's being black. That's the best part. Okay, Logan does a big long speech, but you probably saw it on his Twitter. Yeah. You could go to 42 for Mike's next speech. Okay, 42. So basically what I think happened is after this monologue, Logan gave his version of the monologue which got a ton of respect on People Twitter. People loved and it. it was, everyone loved it. Okay. And Logan, but Mike knew his speech was better, Logan's speech was better, so yeah. he had to top him with Yeah, a big so they've yell. been going speech to speech to speech. <laughs> what, maybe we should show them a bit of Logan's Okay, 2640 speech. is a bit of Logan's. 2640, you got to hear Logan's speech. Um, and again, it's like these guys just woke up yesterday and go, why does the world have issues? I've done so much to educate myself over the past week because i've 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 typically stayed out of um politics and i'll get into this and this is all coming from also the dumb white people have you heard the dumb white people go i don't understand what they're saying but i do know this it's not up for me to understand it's up for me to listen and shut up and they're they actually believe this because when they do listen they don't understand and you know why they don't understand because it doesn't quite add up. So all these white people are going, I've listened, I don't understand, but it's not up for me to understand. I need to zip it and just listen. No, you don't. This is like saying believe all women or anything else. Listen, just because black people are the victim of this doesn't mean everything that comes out of a militant black person's mouth is what you should need to listen to. Come on. You're allowed to have your own opinion still. Just because some very angry people are yelling at you doesn't mean you need to be muted. I need to listen. The reason this isn't quite making sense is because it doesn't make sense. There's high emotions. There's people who are uh, very upset. But nobody has a solution. So that's why it doesn't make sense to you. But just blindly muting yourself and listening is not going to be the answer here. You know, because no one has an answer. No one even has demands. The people protesting don't even have demands. They want this to stop. What do you want to stop? Meanness? Racism? Not stopping. You can't stop that. People have to grow out of it. You're still a new breed. You've got to give it time. No, not the black people, Jules. Not the black people. The human race is a new breed. 
The human race is a new breed. You want everything to be perfect right now. You know, you know, I don't know what you thought your grandpa was doing in those World War II pictures. That wasn't fucking perfect. You see your grandpa in World War II, he's standing next to a fucking A-bomb. And now you're going, I don't think anyone should ever be mean to each other. Well, yeah, you can give it a second here. They were just bombing Nagasaki when we first got in second grade. We're learning about, oh, they bombed Nagasaki because they wouldn't listen. It's justified. Cut to now. They want you to never be mean to a Chinese person. Give it a second. We'll get there. You can't have everything your way right away now. There are a lot of injustices out there. Nobody knows what they want. Stop being so fucking serious. It's going to be okay. People are really up in arms about this here. You got to see their speeches. And you got to see when Mike starts talking like a black man to people. Things I've learned, personal experiences, and, 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 and finally I feel at a good spot in my life where I can speak up and, and speak with my chest out, my chin up. America is racist. Woo! Listen carefully to what I said. America is racist. I did not say Americans. Although there is definitely an embarrassingly large amount of Americans with the archaic belief that superiority is based on skin so see, color. What Logan Paul is the master at is taking everything that is already approved and rewording it for himself and then getting the props. And that's exactly what he did. He's a he buccaneer. Took, took a little from Chrissy Teigen, took some from John Legend, took some from, you know, Lori Lightfoot, combined <laughs> it all. And guess who isn't willing to give him props here? Big Mike had a big speech. And then Logan knocks him out of the park with this speech with a cuter guy, better teeth, better hair, better face. And the whole media picked up Logan's speech and... He was trending on Twitter He was trending on Twitter night. all day. Big Mike sitting there. So the best thing to come out of this is Big Mike was overshadowed. And believe me, he's pissed. Big Mike was supposed to be How the speech guy around he's here. He's the speech guy. He's the book guy. He's the heroin guy. However, I'm talking about America as a nation. We are all incredibly unaware of how deeply intertwined the ugly roots of racism have embedded themselves in the foundation of this country. Every influencer, every celebrity you follow, you've seen them use the term systemic or systematic racism in their posts, but I'm going to explain to you exactly what that means. Uh, is that considered a fool sip or a fool swallow? He drinks literally out of the biggest water bottle Yeti sells. It is giant. This thing, uh, you know, the size of a bozo bucket. You could feed a family of eight with this amount of water. And he stops his important anti-racism speech by taking a giant gulp of this water. It's really happening. 13th Amendment, 1864. Slavery is abolished. Okay, he does this killer speech. Really They carry with him people. off. Where does his speech end? I want to show the end of it. Because you could see Big Mike doesn't want to give it up for him, even though we all give it up for oh, Big yeah. Mike's speech. Here, hold on, I can know how to find Let's out. See. Which enforced racial segregation through the mid 1960s. Bro, the mid 1960s. That is my parents' generation. Go to like 32. I really can't stand white people thinking they've educated themselves. 32? That's like, he says it goes till 33, but. Okay, let's see. That's, uh,. Oh, wait, there it was. The answers. But I know we must now reverse engineer the Here's system the end as of the a speech. collective. Powerful. We must open our eyes and realize that there is only one race, and that is the human race. Oh. On behalf of Breonna Taylor, we must change. On behalf of Ahmed Aubrey, we must advance. Aubrey. And on behalf of George Floyd and the hundreds of others who have you been unjustly Floyd? murdered in this country, we must evolve. is if anyone watching you wants to kill black people. This is the problem. We're preaching to no one. We're literally preaching to no one. And, and let me tell you something. The hillbillies down south that hate black people don't know that there is a YouTube. They're not watching. Their kids aren't watching. 
I don't know what all this is for except to win points with everybody and get, by the way, get back to selling. All right, your influencers got to say all this so they can get back to promoting their merch. You can't just promote your merch on a George Floyd holiday without giving this stance first. Otherwise, oh, you don't give a fuck about George Floyd. So you got to give a lot of fucks about George Floyd. But here is his big speech. It was 30 minutes long about don't kill blacks. Got it. I promise I won't. And you would think Mike would come in for the big hug. Wow, great one, buddy. He made Mike's an amazing actually speech. really jealous. <laughs> Look how Mike responds. I'm shaking. He's shaking. Powerful words, my friend. Look at Mike. He doesn't want to talk. It's, uh, yeah, it's a hot take, but I couldn't agree with you more. I really think you, Mike won't uh, even look at him. Why won't he say a good speech? Because Mike's going, fuck, I worked all night on my black speech. Now Logan has a black speech that beat me. Of course he's going to win. He's got the bigger buys. Kind of hit the nail on the head as far as the advancement that you we all need to. hit the nail on the head. Don't kill black people. You hit the nail on the head with that. I, you know, up until that speech, I was going to go kill them. Uh, let's see so what happens since here. So Logan speech outdid Mike's. Mike does another Mike speech. Mike has to do another speech. But he wasn't prepared. Uh, and this, this is where... Too. So Mike starts with a speech. It was pretty lame. Then Logan does a speech. It was world-renowned. Then Mike comes in with a new speech, and this is where he goes full black, right? I think so. 30 what? 32 oh, oh. 32 or 42 oh, oh. 42. There you go. 42 oh, oh, and this is where Mike really tries to blacken it up, and we're going to notice this. And then it gets even wackier. Wait till you see what happens at the end. Out there are mistaken. Oh. I assure you, we are more divided today than we have been in decades. Ever, ever. Oh, I've never heard not, not quite ever, <laughs> but close. It's like the Civil War. But <laughs> no, may, may, may be close to that. We are close. People on the right, the same people that sit, will say that there's no white privilege, will say that it was worse under Obama. <laughs> yo, yo, I do you. not recall a time when National Guard was rolling through all of our cities. Before coronavirus tests. I, I do not Oof. recall a time when the President of the United States was retweeting tweets threatening to use airborne infantry against U.S. fucking citizens. Uh-oh. Where's the fucking disconnect? Where's the disconnect? How is that fucking possible that you could be that fucking stupid? So you see how Hammy needed to go. He goes, well, Logan had a great speech. I need to be the final word. I need, I need people to, to remember this. this up to 10 if I'm this gonna win this speech way about battle. Now remember, this guy, all he's known for is getting seven people on heroin. <laughs> And getting them arrested. If you ever see Big Mike go, didn't you make my friend use heroin by selling it to him and then he lost his life? Man, you're a taker. You're a pusher. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Watch what it. What happened? We are a fucking mess right now because of what is happening at the top. The dialogue is disgusting. Not one Watch tweet it. in the past four days Offering relief, solace, I can, I cannot, calmness. I cannot believe that. I Look will meet this. with you on the streets. I am the president of this country. I will meet with you. I hear you. I feel your pain. None of it. Nah, bro. Not one fucking tweet. Just if you come near my house, I'm sending the dogs out. This is like uh, the episode of Beavis and Butthead when they watched a Kendrick Lamar video. <laughs> he went, I will meet with you. <laughs> We should become woke. Yeah, yeah, woke. <laughs> this is crazy. This gets worse. Looters again. When the looting starts, the shooting starts. You should be fucking ashamed. Right, ashamed. All right, all right, calm down. You got. You good. You good. You good. You good. You good. You good. Right. You That's good, disgusting. Bro. He's right. He's right. He's right. He's He's right. Said, it's, it's fucked up. I, 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 bro, I'm not. I'm, yeah. You know. You know me. Yeah. You. You watch this show. You watch my vlogs. Hey, these guys are just as good as blacks, man. We trust you. These guys are two regular black guys, not like the whites that we all hate. Man, they've really shown their true color. You guys are cool with the blacks. We let you in. That's what these people really want. I'm telling you. I know that sounds negative and terrible. It's not what I want, but I'm telling you, I am a great observer of the fool. I watch them like a hawk. They just want to get the pass 
so they could move along and continue business as normal. They do not care about the black man. They do not befriend the black man. They're not around the black man. It's a shame. I know that sounds narcissino. But it's the truth. I mean, they better be dedicated to this cause till it's fixed. That's all I can say. Well, here they are. <laughs> you know, everybody is forgetting. When you say that you're so dedicated to this cause, you actually got to follow through. And now you've got to be a black rights activist. I know it's easy right now to be a black rights activist. There can be no killing. And I will not stop and do the it's very easy to be against killing. Will you be there for all the micro black movements that might not be so easy to win uh, that they go through on a day to day basis? Becoming an ally like this, begging for the black pass, is only going to lead you into trouble. Logan I mean, and Mike this is the are the most trending topic right now. Yeah. That's why they're talking about it. Even it doesn't even have to do with that. Exactly. If in a week from now when nobody's talking about this anymore, they the better still be passion that everybody has found for this. You know why? Because it's an easy passion. Everybody is riled up right now. Everyone's emotional, and everyone's buying into anything that anyone says. So they're scooping up these easy points. By being against police officers murdering. Something we're all against. Even the crazies aren't saying, I wish the black people were killed by the cop. No one, I, there's really no one saying that. Sure, there are some. Is it something that needs to have a whole week where these white people pretend that they're crying about these incidents? I don't know. I just know my fools. And when my fools are acting, I can tell. That's all I know. And I know my fools. I know my big Mike and I know Logan and I know they're putting on a show here today. A fake passion project. I I, I said it in my thing. I, I've tended to stay away from politics. <sighs> this is appalling. And I am appalled. And I am appalled. Okay? Mm. I cannot believe there has not been one Very ounce of cute. real leadership. Real leadership. Bro, we are we are in a chaotic frenzy right now, running around like chickens with our fucking heads cut off. Because no one has any direction. We've not been given any advice on what to do. It got, it got heated for Talk a second. Talk about white some... privilege. White pri privilege is thinking there's a plan to Earth's fake mistake life. There is no plan. No one has a plan. Wake up, 21-year-olds. You know, the reason the 21-year-olds are so emotional is because they grew up thinking someone was in charge. They grew up thinking there was a plan and there was fairness and there were justice. There is not. You're lucky that the asteroids aren't hitting every three seconds. You're lucky that the oceans aren't taking you away. You got it pretty good. You're allowed to print shirts with your name on it, for God's sakes, and make millions from it. It's pretty good. You know, to want it to be any better than it is right now is just a really weird, selfish act. I don't know what you thought this was going to be. You know, you don't like it. Don't have a kid. I just want to I just want to touch on this last all right, thing. All right, all right. Eight hours ago. Here we go. Sleepy Joe Biden's people are so radical left that they're working to get the anarchists out of jail and Look probably more. He's reading Trump's tweets. <laughs> Big tax increases for all. Like, I, what do you? I just no, no, stop. stop before, before, I let me, let me, let me handle this. All right, let me handle this. The lamestream no, no, media, listen, 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 fake listen, news. Listen, listen. All I want, what? all I want, all I want. See, and Logan's president. like, we gotta be and, say and, and God something. Me down. See, Logan's like, we gotta be careful. We don't want to lose people. <laughs> We don't want to lose money. Hold on, Big Mike. Don't, don't care. There's well, like, I mean, I don't even think that he's doing that. I think he's embarrassed of how over the oh, top yeah, Mike's well, being that and too. telling him to calm down. Well, but he's over the top too. So I know, but true. Mike is being way, he's yeah. reading Trump's tweets going, the lamestream media. I mean, sure, let's see how Logan handles this. Given any advice on what to do. It got, it got heated for a second. I want to have some fun. 
I, it's, I just, it's, I just want to, I just want to touch on this last uh, thing. You want to have fun while George Floyd is decaying in the dirt wow. with maggots and leeches all over his body? Wow, that's pretty fucked up. Hours ago, Sleepy Joe Biden's people are so radical left that they're working to get the anarchists out of jail and probably more. <laughs> Big tax increases for all. Like, what I, do you? I, I just no, no, stop. stop before, before I let, let me, let me, let me host. All right, let me. Let host. me the mainstream no, no, media. Listen, 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 All I want, all I want, all I want from our president. And, just and, say and, and something. And God strike me down if this is too much to ask for. I want resolution and not conflict. Why does every tweet have to be a pointing at someone? Yes. I, yes. Want, I want, I want a resolution. I want to know what to do. Because I do not right that. now, nor does the rest of America. That's Look all at I this. want. They're admitting. So this is what they're so scared of. They don't know what to do. It's okay to not know. But the rich white people, they need a plan. It can't just be chaos, can it? That doesn't make any sense. We're rich. I need someone telling me exactly what's going to happen and that it's going to be okay. But it doesn't work like that. And that, it, that should not be too much to ask for as a Republican or a Democrat. Please just give us something to latch on to. Okay. I, I, uh, a sliver of hope. Something. Not even a resolution. I don't want a resolution. I, you I, don't? I, I would what? love a resolution. <laughs> I'm God. not requiring a resolution from the president or from the people on his level. What I'm requiring. Look at this guy. Is words of hope and wisdom. This will get better, my people. Stay, oh. stay aligned. Do this will get better, my people. Are you Killer Mike? <laughs> Look at how he's talking and the beats and the tones. This is, uh, what do they call it? This is spoken word, black poetry. <laughs> my people. Look at what the whites are becoming. Hope and wisdom. This will get better, my people. Stay, stay aligned. Do not fight each other. Strategize. We'll get through this. Have we lost sight of how powerful the words of a president can be to save this country during times of peril? No, no, no. We have it because of Obama's thing today. I think, but, I, think but, wait, but, I mean, maybe. But, and I love that piece. But, but for decades, people that were hurting, people that were sad, people that were pained, that were giving up, turned on the television and they watched a president who unified the country who said, I have a solution and these are the steps I'm taking to enact it. And now all we see is hatred. All oh. we see is division and speech of, of, of war on US citizens. I'm, so, I'm sorry, oh, Mike, I, am, I, am, I am very, very, very upset about this. If you're Actually, looking yeah, for yeah, answers, yeah, yeah. if wow. you guys are looking for answers. You have them? And no, and please. You're, and you're okay, looking. And here comes the biggest fucking con man in all of history, Mac. Be careful. Uh, do we have another time code here? It gets um, goofier, yeah, you right? Could go to forty-seven thirty. Forty-seven thirty. The president to tell him it's going to be okay. Oh, this we is pretty bad. This, far, this is pretty bad, and this just goes to show you. Listen, all this is about is fear. The white man hates what's going on right now because it interrupts the white man's life. Logan doesn't want Corona. He doesn't want riots. He wants to be out at Tau. The nightclub that serves orange chicken. He wants to be grinding up against a nice white girl. So what they're really mad at is the interruption of white life. You didn't think I'd be this woke, did you? Speak. Absolutely. Listen. Now how many more dollars does it take? We don't that, need any more. We, we don't, don't need, need any more. We don't need any more. We don't want yeah. any more. Yeah. All we want you're is You're going to die when you hear this. But yet you're looking for answers from a person who is not able to provide them. We should look for look to other places for answers. I don't want answers. I don't want answers from the Solutions. president. You I just want, want him to tell us that it's going to be okay, <gasps> and to and to tell us that, that he's that working. Be, be nice I thing. just want him to tell us it's going to be okay. I did everything I was supposed to do. Why isn't life perfect? Places for answers. I don't Listen want to this. Answers. I mean, also, he's I don't not want black. Answers. I can't say that. You're like, not black, acting. by the way. Big Mike has forgotten that he is not part of the Wu-Tang Clan right now. He really has forgotten that you're a white guy that probably killed blacks with your heroin. <laughs> Solutions. I just want him to tell us that it's going to be okay. 
and to and to tell us that, that he's that working. Be, that'd be a nice start, like dude. a like, start, like like, like, like like just not you not. You don't run a marathon if you never trained, right? But you, you know, you, if you ran a mile, which is all we're asking Donald Trump to do, is say, uh -huh. "Hey, people, my people, my people, fellow Americans, we're going to get out of this. Here's what you can do: hold your loved ones. Absolutely." Set a good example. Keep, keep protesting. Hold your, didn't somebody make a video like back to back this yeah, morning? Yeah, that was in the BBD. Here's what you can do. Hold can your, This it. is what they want. They want Trump to come out. And by the way, he has his words are meaningless because these words are meaningless. These two scaredy cats are going, I just want Trump to come out and say, hold your loved ones. It's all going to be OK. He actually I has. Hold on, I'm you guys just don't you. watch it. And if you did watch it, you'd think he was full of shit because he is. It's not going to be okay, whites. It's not. Here we go. Look at this. They made uh, somebody latched onto this. Look at this here. They'll do a back and forth from today's video here. And they got what they wanted, but they also weren't watching. And even if they did watch, it's meaningless. Watch. I don't want answers. I don't want answers from the Solutions. president. I just want him to tell us that it's going to be okay. By far, our greatest days lie ahead. And to and to tell us that, that he's that working. Be, be Which is all we're asking Donald Trump to do is say, uh -huh. hey, people, my people, my people, fellow Americans. My fellow Americans, wow. my first and highest duty. He did it. As president is to defend our great country and the American people. We're going to get out of this. Here's what you can do. Hold your loved ones. Absolutely. Set a good example. Keep, keep protesting peacefully to spread a message that you believe. Whatever it is. I, just I will fight to protect you. I am your president of law and order and an ally of all peaceful protesters. People that were hurting, people that were sad, people that Yikes. were pained, that were giving up, turned on the television and they watched a president who unified the country, who said, I have a solution and these are the steps I'm taking to enact it. My administration is fully committed that for George and his family, justice will be served. He will not have died right. in vain. And now all we see is hatred. All we see is division. We must never give in to anger or hatred. Wow. <laughs> if malice or violence Mike reigns, Malak. then Actually, none of us Malak. is free. Seriously. What I'm requiring is words of hope and wisdom. This will get better, my people. By far, our greatest days lie ahead. Well, you already used that one. Come on. So there it is. <laughs> and again, it's the scared white people begging for what doesn't exist. The president could come out here and tell you everything's going to be okay. Answers. Doesn't mean it's going to be okay. It's, in fact, not okay. Wait till the global warming shit starts. Then there's no one to blame. You know why they're taking this approach during George Floyd? They got a culprit. You know, it's hard to find the corona culprit they tried. It's hard to find the culprit for the uh, disasters that happen. It's hard uh, to blame everybody for all the drunk driving deaths. But when you could nail it down to one cop, you got something here. And they love that. They love finding somebody to blame for all their terrifying fears. Listen, the terrifying fear is going to be out there whether or not you have somebody to blame. OK, you can take them all down, take all the police departments down. And all you're left with is uh, they're going to fucking rob your house, Logan, because there's no cops left. <laughs> so there really isn't a good answer here except to chill the fuck out. <laughs> chill out. Be smart. Don't be stupid. But everyone is carrying on like it's the end of the world. It's not going to be the end of the world. Be smart. You don't have to cry about it all day. The world must continue. All right, do we, uh, we, we got some funnier time codes here. We're going to end it with something real funny from Big Mike and the boys because they were talking about... This one, you can go to 4850 to hear Logan do a really cute line. 4850, and we got a cute line from Logan Paul, who that is... Like uh, to repeat. He is a hero to the people that are 16 that never thought about nothing. Here we go situation that has become too much to ask and that is what bothers me moving on go this tweet had me dead <laughs> this tweet had me dead just wanted everyone to hear that just that that's it the performers go 
This tweet had me dead. This tweet. I got to get that in the soundboard. Sorry, <laughs> I'm hiccuping. He actually says it twice in a this row. This tweet had me dead. Because I could use that it's for all the for tweets. Tapping yeah, skins. for the tweets. Moving on, go. This tweet had me dead. Had me dead. <laughs> get out of town. All right, we okay, got one so more, right? Um, 50-50. I thought something really fucking funny happens here. 50-50? No way, 50-50. Yep, in which Logan makes fun of girls for taking a photo at a protest, but then five seconds later says that he would oh also Oh my God, this is really bad. So Logan joined in in the protest. He's going to start by schooling us on, I'm a queer, I'm going down to the protest with no cameras. Yep, it's not about cameras. Well, listen to this. Just, uh, just monitor your intentions. <laughs> I, you know... I follow this account on Instagram. And remember, in, we're in, covering this. This speaks for a lot of people. Logan is a lot of people right now. Big Mike is a lot of people right now. And just like every Red Bar fool, they're used as an example. Okay? Because there are thousands of men saying this same stuff. This isn't just about the stupid Logan. This is many men. Listen to this one. Just monitor your intentions. <laughs> I, You know... I follow this account on Instagram, influencers, influencers in the wild. Them, along with many other, like reposting, uh, you're gonna love sharing them. content accounts are are posting pictures of like someone posing in front of a building, a, a looted building, mm -hmm. with like a head cock and like looking all interested. That's you. Caption, how like, did this happen? How did, like what has America come to? And this is part of the reason why when we go to the protest today, I bring the vlog camera. Listen to if this. David happens to take a picture on his film camera on iPhone and I'm and I'm in it, may, maybe I'll post it. Oh, just wait, 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 wait. You're making a stance. You're making fun of people that use the protests and all this stuff to get brownie points. And now you're saying, I'm going to the protest and there's going to be no cameras. Now, my videographer might take a couple stills. And he did, by the way. Also, I just searched Logan Paul protest and immediately found four evidences yes. of him being there. So Logan Paul makes a stance making fun of everybody who's taking pictures and videos of themselves at the protest. And then in that same sentence goes, but actually, I probably will be taking a couple of stills. Why, when we Watch go to this. the protest today, I bring the vlog camera. If David happens to take a picture on his film camera on iPhone and I'm and I'm in it, may, maybe I'll post it just because I want to spread awareness. Oh! Than maybe, I, I like leading by example, but not so much where I'm going to go under the uh, premise that I'm. But you need the picture and they all need the picture, don't they? Have you ever met a white person doing this that hasn't told you about exactly what they've done? So let's see the pictures here. Uh, we've got, is this it, this tweet? I texted you four different ones. Here's Logan Paul. Oh, look at this. Oh, just so happened to get the best picture. Black Lives Matter. I never heard that one before. So there he is. No cameras, man. I'm doing this to help blacks. No cameras. But if my camera guy happens to get a bunch of pictures, maybe I'll post them. Okay. Let's see. There's a couple more here. It's like, dude... Yeah, two you didn't video do video interviews. Oh, by the two way. video interviews. Here, supporting the cause. Yeah, 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 it's something I believe in. I, I feel like this is a part of history. I don't want to be on the wrong side. It was, oh, there's Josie Conricard. Have you seen Josie Conseco? Looks like a complete tard when she's not doing her badass face. This is Josie's smile face. I think she's cute, to be honest with you. I know she's cute when she does her bet. He's dating Jose Canseco's daughter. Jose, remember this one? Anyone from the 90s? Jose, can you see by the dawn? We used to sing this in school instead of Oh Say Can You See, which is the American national fucking speech. <laughs> I used to say, me and my friends used to say, Jose, can you see? And it was in... Spirit so of, you're basically closer with Josie than Logan is. So Jose Canseco, the baseball player for the Oakland Assholes or the Minnesota Braves or the fucking Benditos, he has a daughter named, and I'm not kidding, Josie Canseco. When I first met her, I go, Josie Canseco? I go, what the fuck? Why are you named after the baseball player? This is cringe. And she replied to me, remember? And she goes, 
watch your mouth. <laughs> and then everyone's like, she's the baseball player's daughter, you idiot. Damn it. <laughs> but we were owned. I knew, no, no, no. I knew that. Oh. I, I was saying it's cringe to be named after like this Mexican baseball player. You know, Josie Canseco. <laughs> That'd be like, hi, I'm uh, Renita. Wait. I'm Michelle Tyson. Yes, you remember me. I'm a... Stop it. You got to have your own name. And he's dating Jose Canseco's daughter, who looks like a flaming retard. When she's not, she usually does like a mean pose. And everyone's like, Josie's bad, bro. Josie. But you got to see her smile. Like a big fucking retard. And here's Logan being filmed. I'm sorry. That's what brings you out here? Look at Mr. Serious. We saw a news reporter go, I thought this was a protest, not a march. Sorry about that. Yeah, I thought this what? was going to be a protest, not a march. It's like, it, they are this marching. This news lady was tired of walking. Well, they're marching too fast. Even if Logan Paul is sweating, let's everyone slow down to a walk. You're going to burn yourselves out. Um, did we have another little video? Here, yeah. another TMZ. one. I thought he was not going to be filmed. Here he is. Filmed. You know, you could have worn a better mask here, especially during Corona times. He's not wearing any mask. So he wants to be. Here we go. TMZ Sports. Hey, Logan, what are your thoughts about... Are there any... Is there anyone over 30 in these protests? It um, really... a gay Trump supporter. This guy? Oh, that gay Trump supporter, yeah, earlier. but he's gay, which puts him... Is that Kai Bentley? This guy? <laughs> or hip. Yeah, Kai Bentley. Here's Josie Canseco, looking like shit. Jake looting. Hey, what are your thoughts about Jake looting, huh? You think he looted? I don't know. That's what, that's what a report coming that's out of. That's what the narrative says. Jake, Jake didn't loot. Should he have been there? Absolutely fucking not. Though. I wouldn't scary. march if they were trying to kill my dad. Literally, I would not march for the right for my dad not to die. I would let him be killed by the government. Obviously, they're too powerful. <laughs> How can you stop them? Uh, wasn't there one more horrendous moment here um, to finish this off? 5445, Mike just says some of his final thoughts. Okay, 5445. He says that they are doing what needs to be done. Oh, and here it is. Big Mike and Logan have done what needs to be done. It's up to you now, the viewer, to step up. They've stepped up by giving you a speech. <laughs> so they think because they've said a speech that they have that's as good as fixing the problem. And now it's up to us. They've done their part, right? If it's fun, I have a new, I have a new mission. How can I get involved? Yeah. Fuck, fuck the vlogs. I said, I. Th there's no vlogs this week. No vlogs this week. If, and if you're tuning in and you're not a, a regular on Impulsive for... Uh, a channel who's primarily built on consistency. It's uh, it's not necessarily safe for the business, but and, and I know it's a minor sacrifice. But like I, I, I cannot, I cannot focus. I, I couldn't focus uh, last Can't night. Focus. I couldn't focus this morning. The only thing I care about is, is, is getting involved in this. Really? And then if you're an influencer, I implore you to do, to do the same. D fuck business. Do you see how they're all something's up with them? Why are they so passionate about this? They don't. Well, care. because if you're easily manipulated by Twitter, I of guess so. You get to this point. I mean, I guess it's the the terrible fear. I mean, because people are being I mean, aggressive it's hard right to now. Not think about this twenty four hours a day. I if know, you're but on your phone to be like, I'm dedicating my whole life to save. I, really, you are? That's are what you I mean. sure? I need us to check back in a week and see if they're are still Are you really about dedicating this. your whole life to this? Or are you so easily tricked by the story of the week? I, I just... Are you really sure about this? This is your new thing? You're a Black Panther now? Let's see. Business as usual. This ain't usual. I, 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 I hate to... I hate to... I hate to... Don't show it to me. Somebody's saying, saying this is called hyperconformity. Could be where you're so pressured that you need to make a stance. Listen, I don't want black people to die. I know that's controversial. But I am not ignited by this whatsoever. And I really don't think they should be either. It, it just, 
the pieces aren't really adding up here. This shouldn't be the last straw for anybody. To you right now. Okay. <laughs> He's showing me a video of Jake on his Instagram feed doing a giveaway. And guess what? <laughs> and guess what? You're not going to believe this, this but I'm, on, I'm going to defend Jake on it. And here's what, here's what I'll say. If you are doing your part as an influencer to make it well known that you stand united and you are pushing the messaging that needs to be pushed. We are doing two hour podcasts talking about racism as America in America. You're gonna love this. We are posting across our Instagram stories. We are posting across our Twitter. We are going to protest. We're doing what needs to be done. I do not, I am not mad at Jake Paul for carrying through with the business that he signed to carry. Through. He was caught looting, stealing bottles of vodka from P.F. Chang's at an Arizona Scottsdale mall. So here's Big Mike going, Jake Paul was just doing his support for the blacks. Through with. I would not be mad at you for posting a vlog as long as it was tasteful and didn't distract from the point. Mm. I think people still need to be entertained. They need, th this is fucking stressful. That's this is I fucking can, stressful. I, I, like so, I have a, I have a, quickly, I have a night shift vlog that I bagged up in the days prior to all of this really going crazy. I, it, sh it could have come out Sunday, today, you, whatever. You know why I, I don't love this conversation? Why? There's a couple of whitewashed people on a podcast Whoa. talking about how stressful it is to post a vlog. No, no, like, no, no, no. Like, 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 no, no, that's get... You know what you yeah, should do? Mike. You should take your own life in support of the black man. Enslave yourself, whip each other, and then at the end, take your own life to show how unworthy you are compared to what's going on. I had to get fucking tear gas. I had to get shot with a rubber bullet. Facts. I, have, I had to undergo the discrimination of, uh, of a black person Facts. my whole entire life. So uh, all we're saying is, is that like, we're here for you. We're here for you. And it's, it's all we give a fuck about right a now. Fa facts. But I also don't, I also, I'm not impervious to stress while not being uh, black so or, that, or so involved. A, like yeah, I, I'm, I'm fucking stressed about all this. As you can see, tell by me, I'm blowing my fucking head off on this pod. The community. He does. He forgets. Logan is like, okay, let's not get too uh, over And I'll top. tell you how racist Big Mike is. He was arrested once for selling drugs and thrown to the ground by cops, meaning he's one of the blacks. <laughs> That's how racist he is. Because he was arrested for drugs, I know about the blacks, the arrested bunch. But were you not selling illegal drugs? You know, all these people are against the cops. Listen, I'm against the cops. But, you know, Big Mike is a, uh, what do you call that? A, uh, an ally because he was thrown to the ground and arrested for doing a crime? You're not black, bro. You're from Connecticut, and I got two emails here from people that went to school with you saying you're not the guy you say you were. And now you're under my control. Stay tuned for uh, the next oh, episode. Red Bar investigation coming up. I got two guys. Now, I'm fact-checking this, but I got two separate people that said they found our videos on YouTube. They went to school with Big Mike. Big Mike was the clown of their community. And none of these stories that he claims are true, are true! Now, I'm taking my time with it, and I'm fact-checking it, and I'm getting more out of these boys. Because when I come on here and I show you that Mike isn't the guy he says he is, I want to make sure it's perfectly true. But there are two men emailing me saying they went to school with you, and you are not the guy you claim you are in the book. That is coming up! I got people emailing me with scopes. This is 100% true. So let's listen to the rest. I'm very stressed. I'm not black. I haven't been shot. I'm but I'm not. Perspective. No, I got it. But I also don't. You know, yeah. you know, like, bro, anytime I can take away ammunition from the haters. Please, for sure. Please let me do for so. sure. And like, you know, someone's going to clip that and be like, it must be so hard to not have to post. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but not, fuck those not, people, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, those yeah, people. Like, yo, those are you the people that you're trying to like. The people who would say, oh, your life is so yeah. hard as a white guy are the black people that you're are trying the black to people and that are goes, not watching this. Every black person hates Logan Paul. But then as a response to that, Mike goes, well, fuck those people. It's like, fuck you them. You know, these guys have forgotten that there is more to life than this week. When this week's over, you go back to being the white guys that everyone hates. The white privilege is right here. You're the most privileged two white people in existence almost and you could talk all this stuff but when next week when next week's big stories you're back to being the white guys that everyone hates 
You're not allies. Okay? Uh, Janet Jackson ain't coming out and giving you an award. You're hated by the black community. No matter how much you beg, they look at you as the problem. Watch like, the, I don't give a fuck, the podcast, bro. You'll probably learn something. Wife, yeah. of, wife of accused Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin says in divorce filing she wants to change her name. Damn, you going to jail with no wife. She uh, divorced him, right? She divorced him after this and said that she stood with the, see what he says all next. the attention that he's been given in a negative way. Shout out to that lady. Wow. You are, you are, uh, if I was single, man, I would take you out on a date, lady. And you know what I it really is? The most privileged whites, they feel guilty. They feel very guilty. So they have to plead for their careers to stay intact. It's the same reason. What's going on now is the exact same thing is the overuse of the thank you. You'll see influencers constantly, oh, thank you. My audience is everything to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Because they're terrified. They know that they didn't earn this. They know that this could be taken away like that because their audience is a bunch of fair weather fans that only like them when they're saying the absolute right thing. They could lose this entire career and all the money with a glassman snap. And this is the same thing. They must plead their case as to why they're worthy of being whites making money. It's going to be okay. Your whole audience is white. They're not canceling you this time. And black people ain't listening to you. Okay? It's just not happening. Don't be so scared, boys. What? I was wondering, do you guys have any intents on doing any sort of donations or putting any of sort course. of links into into the description? That's a anything? great question, and I'm glad you brought it up. Full transparency. I have not identified which links will actually cause action. Uh, I see, bro, I have bro, bro, you know how many fucking influencers are, are like, here are links you can read. Yeah. You no, do that. No, you do I'm that. I'm going to put in the description the most accurate, tasteful, effective links you can donate. You can When these white kids tag the NAACP, they're fucking laughing at you. This isn't doing anything. Go to the NAACP and educate yourself. No one's doing this, okay? You should see what Ariel Gottenberg is saying on her Instagram. I mean, they're crying. They're pleading. We should pull that up. You can read. You can Wasn't there one more Big Mike part that was just truly horrendous here? Did it come up yet? I mean, it's almost at the end. Oh, okay. Let's see what he said. I thought the worst part was when he screamed. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I thought I fell asleep during this when you were watching live and you were dying laughing over something they said. And I thought we hadn't gotten there yet. You were dying. You go, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think that was about his yells. Okay, let's see. But like, I'm not gonna post five and expect you to read all. That's what everyone's yeah. doing. We have fuck off. I, fuck it's off. Funny you're, you're you part said, of the problem. It's funny you said that. I got a vetted list from a community uh, uh, activator, and all of them serve a great purpose. I said, I which show one? You this one? That's what I'm saying. Which one? Yo, the influencers which? stop they posting me a five, list six, of seven, and, throw, and just throwing your oh your, shit um, your fandom. Hey, my buddy nowhere, Keemstar. No one clicks anything. Look at this, my buddy Keemstar. This can't be good. Drama alert. Logan Paul says his brother Jake Paul did not steal anything during a looting incident. Jake did not loot. Um, He looted a vodka bottle. We Logan all saw. Paul says Jake shouldn't have been. Okay. That's it. That's the big bust. I got to show you this girl, Ariel. Oh, I How sent you the link already. Oh, you did. Let's see if we could catch her story. Wait till you see this. And this is, again, I call acting. I call acting. Let's see. Hopefully it's still up. Oh, it's not, Jules. Fuck. She deleted. I mean, she's gone. Maybe she saved it as a... You would think she would save it, right? Fuck, man. Did they save it here? Santa BB? Can't be that. Ah, oh, man, I wish I could have shown you this one. This white girl was pouring her heart out. But here, you've seen all this to our black brothers and sisters. I hear you. I see you. I stand beside you. I will the first to admit that I will never understand what it feels like to be discriminated against because of the color of my skin. I promise. Chill out. Even black people are like, man, you white people are overreacting. It's just George Floyd. He wasn't that cool. Seriously. They're starting to go, okay, these white people are acting a little bit much. We don't even care. That's what I think, at least. I'm putting words in their mouth. Okay, there it was. Logan Paul, Big Mike, and the worst week of everyone's life. Can't people be nice, huh? Can't you be funnier? 
Why so serious? Like Batman says, why is everyone so serious right now? And I'd like to repeat that. I'd like to leave that with you. Don't be so serious. Many black people are going to die throughout the rest of time. Many white people are going to die. Everyone's fucking dying. Every, everything's going to be unfair. Think of it that way. It's an unfair world. It's an unfair life. And if you're breathing today, if you're happy today, if you came earlier today, you won. Enjoy the good days. Because when the fucking, uh, w when the coasts start closing in on you, it's all fucking over. You can't even handle COVID and one black guy dying. So when these tornadoes come, when these floods start coming, you're fucked. I know where I'm moving. And I know what fireworks I'm buying.